Hi guys, today we're going to make a delicious oxtail autumn dish. We're going to make braised oxtail with an onion foam, crispy potatoes and some beautiful crispy autumn leaves. So, let's begin! First the oxtail. This recipe is for around 12 portions. Transfer 100 grams of nitrate salt into a pan and add 2 liters of cold water. Mix it to dissolve the salt. Now submerge 2 kilograms of oxtail and let it brine for 24 hours in your fridge. The next day you can take them out of the brine and let them dry for at least 10 minutes. Then heat up a big pot, add a splash of oil and pan fry all the oxtail on all sides till golden. Really take your time with this, it makes a big difference for the final flavor. While you're doing that, cut two shallots in half and clean them. Now chop them. Once all the oxtail is golden, remove them from the pan and pan fry the shallots till golden. Now also add 6 springs of thyme and half a bulb of garlic that's cut in half. Then deglaze the pot with 1.5 liters of beef stock and submerge the oxtail once more. When necessary, add some more beef stock. Then bring this to a boil and when it's boiling, put a lid on the pot and cook it in an oven at 85 degrees Celsius for 12 hours. After that, remove the oxtail from the broth and keep the broth for later. Then remove any big pieces of fat bones or other membranes. Now mix it for a minute or so. Then lay two layers of plastic wrap on your worktop and transfer the oxtail on top. Use the wrap to shape a nice tight roll. Now roll the sides to make the roll even tighter and make a knot on both sides. Then tidy up the sides and let the oxtail roll set in your fridge. Meanwhile pass the broth through a fine sieve and use a small ladle to remove the fat that floats on top. Once most of it is removed, start reducing it for 50% and continue removing the fat till you have a nice clear broth. Now for the potato crisps. Start by peeling one big potato. This is as well for around 12 portions. Then cut it in thin julienne on a mandolin. You can also cut this by hand, but this is just a lot faster and easier. Be careful with your fingers though. Then cut it in small cubes, also known as brunoise. After that, transfer it into a bowl and rinse the potato with cold water to remove the starch. If you don't do this, the potato will color too fast before becoming crispy. Now let it dry for 15 minutes. Once dry, heat up some frying oil till it's 170 degrees Celsius and add the potato brunoise. Directly stop mixing and continue doing so till golden brown. Then pass the oil through a fine sieve and spread the crisps on a kitchen paper. Directly season with salt and keep them dry and covered for later. Now for the autumn leaves. It's a similar recipe that I did two weeks ago, but I gave it a little twist. So I wanted to share it as well. And for that first, peel 600 grams of potato. I use a floury potato and you can make around 35 to 40 leaves with this recipe. Then cut the potato in even chunks and transfer them into a pan filled with cold water. Now boil them for around 15 minutes till cooked. Meanwhile, cut two big onions in half and clean them. Then chop them. Once the potato is cooked, let them air dry for at least 15 minutes. Now add a drizzle of oil to a new pan and caramelize the onions on a medium heat. Once caramelized, weigh 3 times 50 grams. Then transfer one of the three portions into a blender and also add 25 grams of milk, 25 grams of balsamic sugar, 3 grams of salt and 4 grams of turmeric powder. Blend this till smooth and then add 110 grams of the boiled potatoes. Blend it once more till it has no more lumps and then directly stop mixing to prevent it from becoming too gluey. For the next batch you can repeat the whole process, only instead of using turmeric powder add 4 grams of paprika powder. For the final batch you're using 5 grams of lovage leaves instead of the turmeric. Once all the three batches are done, make a couple thick lines on the silicon sheet. Just get creative. Now once you've done that, spread it out with a palette knife and be sure that you don't overspread it because then you'll mix all the colors and then it's a waste of all your effort. So just gently spread it until it's an even layer. When that's done, bake it at 140 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. After that, gently remove the dough from the sheet and cut it to the desired size with some scissors or cut it with a knife. 
Then cut it with a leaf puncher. I put a couple of links for nice ones in the description of this video. After, fry them at 160 degrees Celsius for around 10 to 15 seconds till the color starts to change. Then shape them when still hot and keep them dry and covered for later. Now for the onion foam. This recipe is for around 15 portions. First clean enough onions for 400 grams. Now chop them. After, heat up a big pan, add 30 grams of butter and glaze the chopped onions with 8 grams of salt. Then add 250 grams of white wine and 10 grams of white wine vinegar. Let this reduce completely. Once that's done, add 200 grams of cream and 5 springs of thyme. Reduce this as well. Then remove the springs of thyme. Now transfer it into a blender and blend it till smooth. Once it's smooth, you need to weigh the mixture. Mine weighs 500 grams. For every 500 grams of mixture, you're going to add 10 grams of a Pro Espuma Hot. Then mix it for another 30 seconds to a minute and it's ready to put into the siphon. Don't forget to pass it through a fine sieve. Using a ladle will make this a lot easier. After that, charge it with two charges. Then we can start to finish the dish. First, portion the yolk still in pieces of around 50 grams. Don't forget to remove the foil. Now heat up a frying pan, add a splash of oil and pan fry the yolk still on both sides. Then glaze the top with a reduced broth and heat them for 5 more minutes at 160 degrees Celsius. Once it's done, pipe a nice dot of the onion foam in the middle of a plate and place the yolk still on there. Glaze it once more and sprinkle some potato crisp on top. Then cover the dish completely with the crispy leaves and it's ready to be served. Okay guys, super happy with the result. I know I already did a similar recipe on the crisps uh, last week, but I just wanted to show with the different colors and a different way of thinking, you can make something super cool as well. Um, because the leaves, yeah, they look super nice. I'm really happy with them. Oxtail is always a great way uh, to prepare it like this. And especially like this, when you have large groups of people, you're like two, three hundred. This is a great way of preparing it to make sure you have a beautiful and refined dish without uh, so much trouble. So let's just dig in. Um, I think the foam is gonna give it a nice, fresh balance. Mm. Yeah. That's super good. Super, super nice. Beautiful, rich onion flavor. The oxtail, super nice. And the crispiness of the potato crispies on top, really delicious. So overall, super happy with the dish. It's really an autumn winter dish and I really hope you guys are going to make it and enjoy it as well. And yeah, these ones, yeah, just super happy with them. So uh, please let me know in the comments on what you want to see next. Like and share the video and subscribe if you want to support my channel and see more amazing recipes. And as always, bon appetit.